This group has a lot of fire in it. <laughs> it also has a lot of earth in it because the tones are so deep, you know, the timbres and the textures. And it also has a lot of air and water too. I mean, it moves, it moves, and there's a lot of um, space in it too. You know, when I was thinking about how to put this group together, actually I assembled this group in 2011, and I kind of was thinking about balancing the energies. That's really what the, the idea was. It wasn't even really about the instruments. I mean, this is a kind of classic format. We played in Europe once and someone came to me and said, is this your hard bop band? <laughs> and I said, man, <laughs> please don't say that. <laughs> but uh, I guess it is a sort of classic format like that. Like, you know, I don't know, McCoy Tyner had a band like this in the 70s. Herbie Hancock did too, actually. I and mean, it's a classic format that you hear throughout history. And it's partly because the horns kind of have a, you know, what the rhythm section does is it creates a certain feeling, a bounce or a certain groove, basically. And then putting the horns in the center of it or in the front of it, the sort of conceptual balance is that that's the voice. You know, see, none of us are using our lungs. <laughs> I mean, the rhythm section, it's all tactile. What we're doing is touching and hitting, you know. And what the wind players are doing is, in a way, it, it becomes a stand-in for the voice because of the support from the, the lungs and because of the articulation with the mouth. That contrast is a sort of essential quality of this format, you know. And so I tried to work with that, but I also, you know, I've thought a lot about orchestration and how to um, create sort of unexpected unities in the ensemble, because it's, it's sort of typical to sort of pit the horns against the rhythm section or treat them as on top of the rhythm section, but I try to like have say unisons with the piano, or I put the piano in front sometimes. And I've learned a lot from Monk actually <laughs> about that, about how to, like just some trick, orchestrational, basically being creative with the, with the format, with the instrumentation and uh, finding space, you know, and creating variety and contrast. So it's not just winds on top, rhythm on the bottom, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I hope we found some of that balance and that um, variety. I think we did.